teams looking stark for a win. And we are set to go. The Ducks start with possession as we are now underway. And he's knocked off the puck there. Puck grabbed by Nelson. The Islanders carried along the wall. tight space and he knows exactly where his opponent is and those silky mitts they're put to work you know how often he's practiced on those he makes his move not once twice multiple times to be able to bury it new york's aggressive start has led to a quick lead in this one yeah urgency fast feet and aggressive and because of it they're rewarded with that early goal michael's won it Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Horvath. Big puck save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Oh, well, a save like this, it'll wake up your entire bench. I mean, this is a game changer, James. Talk about changing the momentum of a game at a timely save. That's one right there. Zone moving forward here along the boards. 
And now he moves it to Johns. The Islanders have it against the wall. New York's got possession at center. Tries to get it to Pellet. Taken along the wall by Engvall. Here's a short pass to Pellet. Takes it across the blue line. Takes the puck at the point. Sends it down low. up here in the first and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Anaheim's won the face off deep in their own end. Tries to get the puck over to Johns. Shot! And makes the save. Paul Mary's moving the puck through his own zone. Cut it to the front of the net. Oh, he'll feel that one. Takes the feed from the left side. Quick pass to Champion. The Islanders look to start the transition game. New York's looking to break out. Anaheim's got it from behind the net. And that's blocked in traffic. Puck scooped up by Silverberg. And the rookie is hunting down his first goal. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Slides it quickly to Niskanen. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Past the midway mark in this period. The Islanders lead this one 2 zip. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Pass back to the point. No room for that one to get through. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Into the attacking area from the left side. Poked away by Darlene. Sends the cross ice pass. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Tried to get 2 Q with it and loses possession. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Fires it on net, and he keeps that one out as he gets a piece of the glove. Chance in front. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Late goings of this period. 2-0 is the score. The Ducks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Lays out to block the shot. Passes it over to Declare. Moves it to Engvall. Oh, what a save in front. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. The Islanders have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Anaheim's won the draw. He grabs the puck here at the point. Puts it on net, and he gets in front of that rocket. Moving into the attacking zone. And Ross taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Uh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing, and you wind up in the box. unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone call. Stars putting the power in power play. Well, power play is most effective when you have multiple options. You keep your opponent guessing. That's exactly what they did, and they converted on it. Well, this is a beautiful one-timer shot that's going to beat the goaltender, but how about the offensive zone face-off? I mean, just winning that puck directly back, I mean, no one can react off of it. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck.
They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Quick feed to declare. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Anaheim's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Now a quick pass to Johns. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, close save and a beauty! The Islanders have been rewarded with the lead here late in this first period with all the shots they put on net. New York's won the defensive zone draw. From the point! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Sorokin! Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. The Ducks win the faceoff. Lee's lugging the puck. Dropped him in the open ice. Oh, and it stays out. You got a piece of that one. Moves it quickly over to Mayfield. Picked up along the wall by Lee. Taken by Schultz. 23 seconds now. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. People excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath back with more of Welcome back, she's Pounder. I'm Sabalski. You do you, and here comes period number two. Well, let's see if we can get some fireworks going here as period number two is underway. Well, Cheryl, how do you send this one up through the first 20 minutes? New York's got the one goal lead after 20 minutes of play, James, because they're putting the puck to the net. When you get the majority of shot, chances are they're going to go in eventually. The Islanders gain control of it. Here's a short pass to Marcel. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Nelson's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on the stick. Fires it! And there's a club save on the play! <laughs> Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've got a 2-1 game. win the draw now let's see what they can do with it right up the gut into the offensive end and that pass is redirected handles the pass loses possession after he takes a little hit look at that hit maybe try to wear down the opponents here Champions on his way down to the ice, almost on one foot. Incredible display of awareness as he's able to get that pass off, which leads to a great scoring chance. Uses the force on that hit. Pass save, and the goalie made it look easy. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. Takes a slap shot from the point, and that carries off a stick. Slides the puck to Nash. New York's got possession here in the neutral zone. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Passes on over to Lee. The Islanders have it now. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. 
What a great save! Gets the puck in deep. Picked up along the boards by Lee. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Nearing the midway mark of the period. New York's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Anaheim's taking possession in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Oh, and he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender in a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Handles a sweet feed. Feeds it over. Let's it go. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to beat a task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Nelson's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. New York's got it in the defensive zone. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Tried to play it off the glass, but that's kept in the zone. He's got a step. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Nelson's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And they win that draw at center. And he hangs on to the puck. Across the line along the left wall. New York's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Big time save. Oh, he is looking good in there tonight. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Michaels ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Ducks win it. Grabbed along the boards by Nash. Oh, excellent play and goal there. Puck clears the zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Takes the feed up ahead. Locks him. And it's a quick pass to Brink. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Takes the puck. Near the point. From the slot. Huge stop by Sorokin. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Sends it in deep. Tippett's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Scores! Off the post and in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. I just love the way he's dangling in tight spaces here, James. He knows how to create space for himself and just enough to get to the goaltender and finish it off.
The Ducks have new life here in period number two after that strike here. They strike and they're able to convert finally, James, as they've had a ton of opportunities and they're shooting from everywhere. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Darlene. Moves the puck. Pokes it away in his own end. Slides it diagonally to Nelson. And another hit! The human buzzsaw has in full effect on the ice tonight here, Cheryl. It certainly is, and if you're the opponent, man, your head's gonna be on a swivel. You're gonna be knowing when he's coming, and you may shy away from the puck. Poked away by Silverberg. Grabs control of it at the point. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck leaves the zone. And he comes up with it. Takes the feed. Great vision to see that stretch pass. With possession along the wall. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Slides the puck across. Takes the return feed. There's the collision. They fight for it along the boards. Slides it across. Slides the puck up from the left side. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Slides the puck down low. And he slides it quickly to Enroth. Redirected off one of his own line mates there. And he slides it quickly to Sikas. Oh, great save there! Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. The emotion elevates after a save like that, James, and even on replay, it's happening again for me. I mean, that was absolutely unbelievable. Everyone's standing on their feet. They cannot believe that he made that save. A critical face-off looming here. Let's see if they can maintain that offensive momentum. Well, you know that the defensive side is vulnerable right now with a tired tender. Oh, Attack down the right side. 
outside. Quick pass across to Johns. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period, don't go anywhere. line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? New York's 20 minutes away from closing out a dominant performance, James. They've been defensively responsible. They've provided a lot of offense when they've gotten into the offensive zone. Now it's about seeing the finish line and closing it out properly. Angles it over to Richards. Nothing! That one's a squeaker, James. Almost as if you need a curler sweeper to get that one past the post because that one just glided straight through. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Islanders lead at 5-2. Champions won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Makes the save! And some good footwork to kick it away. Dobson's got the puck in his own zone. Gives him a jolt with that hit. Carries the puck up through center. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Scores! A huge goal here has put them right back into this one. Yeah, and if they can get one more, they'll be one away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter. But unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. Got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight. If only they could start that way, hey, James? No but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get their tender out. Quick pass to pull up. New York's got it in their own zone. The Islanders will play the puck from behind the net. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Makes his presence known on the ice. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Chris is able to make that save look easy, James. It's because he gets to the top of his crease, he cuts down his angles, and then he can redirect it to safety. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Oh, what a save with the glove by Sorokin! Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Ducks are trying to get back into this one as they still trail by two goals. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Way too much congestion blocks that. Shuts him down. Goaltender covers them. We got a stoppage in play. Anaheim's had a lot to like about their game tonight. Decided advantage in the shot department, but they still trail here in the third. Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. Excellent stick work on the play. Gains the zone from the right side. Great reach by Barzell. And he takes the pass. Puck picked up by Tippett. And then it got cut up in traffic and goes off a stick. New York's got a hold of the puck. Poked away at center by Tippett. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Poked away in the neutral zone. 
And he can't hang on after that hit. Jostling for the puck, and it's knocked away. Into the attacking end. Here's a chance. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? The Islanders have it now. The Ducks take possession of the neutral zone. Breakaway. And stopped on the play there. Well, on the breakaway, it's all about the first fake, and he does a great job there, but the goaltender doesn't bite, and as a result, makes the save. Keeps possession on the play. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save in front. Now a quick pass to Faber. Oh, you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. Oh, these home fans have had enough. They're wondering when a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now with that third call in a row, I might add, James. I mean, this is a one-sided game, isn't it? Unbelievable. Anaheim's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. And man, has it been effective. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. The Ducks move to the offensive zone. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Here's an opportunity to get the puck out of their own end. Moves it to break. And some textbook body contact there. Takes control of the puck. Sends a pass over. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Sezikis. Here's a race for the loose puck. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? As it's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Snaps it up from the slot. Big time stop there. And another save. <laughs> Nelson's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Richards wins it. They'll go to work now on the attack. And a strong effort on that play. The Ducks have it in the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop as he used to just paddle the sweat it away. Columbus is coming up next on the schedule. A few select seats still remain for this one, so you better jump on them quick. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Nice reflex by the goaltender to get his glove on that one. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because with the way the player shoots in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. And they win the draw on their own end. Trying to clear. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Passes it over. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Lee standing up, ready to go. The Ducks gain possession. Takes the feed. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. James, I remember protecting a lead at the Olympic Winter Games and having to find a way to, to get that puck out and how critical it was to have good habits, be strong on the puck and play physical. This group did a great job. The Islanders will play it in their own end. Moves it around along the half wall. Dishes it off. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. There's a hit on the play. Run! And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And it's a quick pass to Paul Mary. And a great save. That's what we call a ready goalie, James. Ready for anything. The pass across and to be able to steal one. 
And the shot dies in the traffic jam. New York's on the attack. Scooped up along the wall by Horvath. And that shot dies in traffic. Oh, and he reaches out with the glove save. Wow! Anaheim's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Beats it over. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Takes the bank pass feed. And that's poked away by Dobson. Slides the puck ahead to Nelson. Gaining momentum up along the side. Takes a shot. Denies him on a play. Gains control of the puck here on the blue line. Big hit. Big save. And I bet he swallowed this one up with his club. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Good night.